Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.co.uk and I'm Heidi Smith, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based here in the United Kingdom um, and uh, today I'm sharing another one of my quick cards with you and this is based on one that's in the annual catalogue, uh, sorry the holiday catalogue at the moment um, this is my version of it, using the memories of home. So it's got these this fabulous large tree stamp and I've just used that to create the background here. There are these lovely baubles which coordinate with the bauble punch set. So this is the set whereby you get two different punches and there's a two stamp sets which coordinate um, and you've got these kind of almost Scandi effect um, baubles and some lovely sentiments so again you haven't got to go out and buy separate sentiment sets lovely sentiments in there already so away we go then i'm going to do it a slightly different colorway so this is using mint macaron with highland heather uh, so a less traditional kind of um christmas combination but i thought we'd go with something another one of my favorites um, which is actually pool party and highland heather which you can see here um and what I'm going to do is um, create a standard card base uh, using some thick Whisper White cardstock, uh, which is, tends to be my go-to. You can use our ordinary Whisper White, that works just as well. Um, and you're going to cut this to 14 and a half centimetres by the full width. And then you're just going to score at 10.5. So let's just create our card base. Then you're going to reinforce that with your bone folder. Get a nice sharp crease on the top there, like so. So there's our card base, which we're going to just pop um, a stamp on the inside of there. And then um, with our layers, so this is going to be our top layer. Now that means that all of this in the middle there is going to waste. So I'm just going to show you, um, I have a couple of questions on how to gut. So all I do, for me, I line it up at two centimetres, about three quarters of an inch on the right hand side. And I cut down from two centimetres at the top to the bottom. And it doesn't have to be precise. Um, I just find that gives quite a nice border. And you just repeat that four times, like so. You then cut out that middle panel and that gives you a little piece that you can use for other projects and um, for adding to layers or for doing sentiments. So having cut this piece, I'm just going to pop that onto the front of my card. And it's sort of an even border all the way around, like so. And then let's get on with the stamping. So this layer, is nine, um, nine and a half by 13 and a half centimetres. And I've added my, I've put my stamp onto a nice big block. And when I'm um, using a large stamp, take the ink pad to the block. So really give it a really good ink up. I then roughly put that in the middle and There you go, and you just get a nice tone on tone effect. Ink it up well again. And this time, just come at it in the opposite direction. The same on the other side. And there you've got your pretty background. Take some scraps of um, card, um, Whisper White, and your ink pads. And then I'm just stamping a couple in my Highland Heather and one in my pool party and while they're still on the card I'm going to come in with my blender pen my blender pen on the right here and I'm just going to use an ink ink block 
um, a stamping block to add some ink onto the end there. I'll do the same with my Highland Heather. I think I probably need to in my pool party. Then I just come in here with your um, blender pen and just pick up the ink and I use that just to colour in that centre section. Like so. And just add a bit more up here, a little bit of colour. The other end. Again, just very quickly and easily, just add some accents to those. And again, just come in and you can you know, do as much or as little colouring as you'd like. Just like this. So it's really, you know, you can just vary this depending on what you want to do. And then I'm just going to come in and add some accents using my Wink of Stella. So on this one I'm just going to colour this central section with a bit of Wink of Stella, like so. Um, on this one I'm going to come round the outer part of the bauble and that just gives us a soft shimmer and a bit of Christmas sparkle. On this one we'll just do the top section and the bottom section. And all you need to do is use your punch, pop that out of the way, to punch out our baubles. And then this layer can go straight onto our front of our card. So we glue that on while it's while it's still flat. Uh, obviously it's more difficult to add the glue on, you get a bit of distortion if you're not careful. So now that we've done that, um, I've got some self-adhesive sequins which I'm going to add and I'm going to add these two baubles. Um, two of them I'm going to add stuff fairly flat and then one up on a dimensional in the middle there. So again, just take take an empty tape runner. There we go. And you can vary where you put these. Just a dimension in the middle there. You could obviously add some string if you wanted. I'm just adding some sequins round and about. There we go. I think these are actually some retired sequins. I meant to pick up my nice new ones. Let me see there. And then all that's left is for us to do uh, the sentiment. So for that, I'm just going to take a small piece of cardstock. And obviously from doing cards, we often end up with sort of strips like this. And what I'm going to do is use my sentiment here with the Highland Heather to make it stand out a little bit more. I do is I'm just going to line that up. Wishing you a merry season. Bring my trimmer in and this is where I don't do exact measurements always so I just pop that in. Yeah. 
and I'm just trimming that down like so and because I'm not doing precise measurements obviously you could if you wanted to but the way I get an edge to that is just by taking my piece of card and dipping the edge firmly into the ink pad and that way you'll see we get a lovely border around our image um, without um, adding a layer. I'm just going to use one of my stamps on the inside as well and just ink that up and I'm going to just stamp off a touch okay. and that's just why that ink was drying and add a couple of dimensionals to the back and again depending on as much dimension or as, as you want depending whether you're posting or hand delivering pop that in the corner and there we have a very quick card ready to hand out ready for Christmas and you could make a stack of those really quickly and easily Thanks for watching. Come back and see me again soon. And uh, don't forget, if you'd like any of the products that you've seen here today, pop along to my shop, HeidiSmith.StampinUp.net, or follow the links below to my blog, and you'll find links to all the products there. Thanks for watching. Bye now.